Good afternoon, everybody, and thanks so much for joining us here on KXAN Live. I'm Will Dupree coming to you from the KXAN Live studio. We wanted to update you about an investigation into a shootout that killed a suspect and injured a deputy in Lee County. We've been reporting about the, uh, the investigation that's unfolded since early this morning, and we wanted to check in now with our reporter who is there on the scene. She is reporting about the latest details and sharing information about what investigators are looking into now. So, the Hera Rahman is joining us live now. The Hera, thank you for being here. Thank you so much for having me, Will. We appreciate you uh, taking a pause in your own reporting as you've been out there at the scene there in Lee County. Remind us where this shooting happened. This is quite a ways away from Austin. Yes, yes. It's in Dime Box, Texas, which is in Lee County, um, and it's uh, sort of on the outskirts. It's sort of further into Lee County, a very small town where, you know, like many small towns, well, everybody knows everybody, right? So we spoke to so many neighbors today who have had some sort of encounter with the uh, suspect, Perez. And you just mentioned there the suspect. Uh, let me show his picture that the Lee County Sheriff's Office put out there. Uh, the suspect who died in this shootout is Raul Vega Perez. Fajera, remind us about uh, what happened here. What led up to this shooting? Well, this is what we know. We know that the Lee County Sheriff's Office had a warrant out. It was a warrant for a charge of sexual assault of a child. They were going to serve it to Perez. Perez was supposed to show up in court, actually, did not make that court appearance. And that's why Lee County Sheriff's Office went out to serve this warrant um, and in search of Perez. So they got a tip that Perez was inside a home and that home is where they uh, ended up finding him. They say that there was a chase. They found him somewhere near this home. A chase ensued and then they followed Perez inside the house. That's where the shootout ended up happening. Now, uh, police say, the sheriff's office rather, says that the uh, suspect fired first. And then he says that one of his deputies who was responding, as well as the Department of Public Safety trooper, who was also responding, they both fired back killing Perez and the deputy himself was injured as well and he was airlifted to a hospital. Uh, we believe that he is in critical condition. Um, the sheriff said that the damage was uh, much more than he had initially expected um, and that the uh, bullet had gone through one of his shoulders, near one of his shoulders. Reiterate there, we did mention that a deputy was shot in this shootout and uh, you're saying now that the sheriff is saying that this deputy is in critical condition at an Austin hospital. Yes, yeah, so that's what we believe. Um, we also we have asked for an update since this morning, early this morning, on the condition of that deputy. Um, the sheriff just responded basically saying that they are a very small agency. They're working on all of our requests, all of our questions, um, and that as far as the deputy's uh, condition and anything involving the investigation, those questions now have to go to DPS, the Department of Public Safety. Of course, we've sent our requests uh, along to them as well and are waiting to hear back. Tell us about which agencies are now investigating this shooting. You did mention there uh, the Department of Public Safety. Yes, the Department of Public Safety um, and the Lee County Sheriff's Office has been assisting. Um, the sheriff said that he would, earlier this morning, he said that he would meet with the Texas Rangers um, to get an update on the investigation. And he has not updated us since speaking with them, only saying that uh, we have to ask all our questions to DPS. Mm. And tell us about what the reaction to this is from the community there. You mentioned it was a small place that a lot of people know each other. So how are people feeling after hearing about what happened? Will shocked, very mm. shocked. Um, there, we spoke to one young girl, about 15 years old, who lives next door. She said that her brother was out playing with one of the kids um, in we don't know if it was one of Perez's children or one of his relatives, but she had seen Perez just earlier that day and, uh, you know, said hi to him, had an interaction with him. I also spoke with another neighbor who has been here for decades. He's known Perez, he says, for 20 or 30 years. Very helpful man would help him anytime he'd asked for it. Um, and he said that he also was shocked that Perez could have done anything like this. He didn't know about his uh, previous record either.
Hmm. Well, you've been out there all day, Fahara, uh, gathering details, and your story is going to air this evening in one of our newscasts. Give us a preview about what you're going to be looking into, what people can expect from that. Well, we talked to, uh, you'll hear from some of the neighbors that we talked to earlier today about what they knew and their interactions with Perez. We also talked to, got gleaned a little bit more information on the circumstances surrounding um, this whole shootout. What were the previous arrests, the convictions for Perez, and also um, what led up to the moments where we hear and uh, hear this shootout, rather, between deputies, troopers, and Perez. Sahara Rahman is one of our reporters here at KXAN. She joins us now live from uh, Lee County where she's reporting about this shootout that injured a deputy and killed a suspect. Sahara, I'm going to let you go so that you can continue your, your reporting. Thank you for joining us today for this update, and we'll check it back in with you in a little bit. Thank you, Will. All right, everybody. Thank you all for watching our stream here on KXAN Live. I'm Will Dupree in the KXAN Live studio. If you'd like more information about where the investigation stands and a little bit about the background of the suspect who was killed in this shootout, we have that on our website, kxan.com, and on the KXAN News mobile app. So please download that onto your phone if you haven't done so already. Thank you all again for watching. I'm Will Dupree. We'll see you back here another time, everybody. Please stay safe and healthy out there and take care.